and this is my first video for 2016 and last month was my birthday and I thought I'd treat myself to some new makeup because I have loads of makeup that I need to throw away and I decided to get myself some sleek foundation. My friend said that she had been trying the cream to powder and she liked it so I thought I used to use cream to powder when I just got into foundation so I thought why not give it a go and here are my, here's my review. Where I live you can get sleek quite easily in Boots and Superdrug or online and also in the black hair and beauty shops. Um, so I done a lot of trying to guess what my shade was, I went and did some swatches on what was available and these are the two shades that I ended up buying. Focus, yeah, so you have terracotta and noisette. They're literally one shade different from each other. You have um, terracotta's 463 and noisette's 464. So, as you can see, I have definitely been using it. And um, this is terracotta. This one, I think, matches my skin perfectly. Um, it's It seems to be the best match. It's almost perfect. And the only thing I wish it had is a hint more yellow in it. So I thought I'd try um, Nozette, which is this one. And this one is definitely more yellow. Um, but... When I wear this, it seems to give me an ash cast. And for saying it's just one shade different, I don't know why that is. But so if I wear this one, if I wear, if I wear nos, noset, 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 whatever, if I wear this one, I make sure that I use the luminous powder and not the suede powder. Yeah. So, yeah, two foundations. Um, terracotta and noisette. Terracotta is definitely um, a match for me, which is Terracotta 463. And noisette, I can wear noisette as well, but I definitely wouldn't be able to wear noisette in the summer. Okay, so I thought I also um, get some powders as well, because I like having powders now. Um, even though I've got dry skin, I like a matte-ish finish or dewy, some type of dewy-ish finish, right? So i got the Tropical Bronze 470 Superior Cover Press Powder. Um, it comes, comes, with the, comes with the powder puff. And this is how it looks. And it's a nice, it's a nice, oops. this is Tropical Bronze. Um, and it's a very nice powder. It's um, very, I like this one, um, um, I can wear this one by itself or just as a finishing powder um, which is brilliant so I like that. And the powders come with powder puffs which is so good. And then I've got the Suede Effect Press Powder in SE02, so in 02 and it's SPF 15. Um, this one, I like this one. It's very nice. It's um, um, if you see my other video for the luminous press powder, this is a matte powder. So if you like a matte finish, this one's really good. Just so you can compare it side by side, this is the luminous press powder in zero three, and this is the suede effect powder in zero two. Um, if you notice, the luminous powder has gold flecks in it whereas the suede powder doesn't have that so if you like just a bit of glow go for luminous otherwise suede effects fine okay so i also got some blushes um this one i absolutely love this one so the, this is pomegranate i love this shade it's very nice very nice color um I love uh, this one's antique. Um antique reminds me of honor, but as you see honor is a bit more you can see the two there. Right, so this is honor and this is antique. Honor has more of a warm colour to it, whereas antique the 
glitter in it this it's more on the silver side so and you know with brown skin that could make you look a bit ashy if you don't know what you, but it's okay i've worn it but i prefer honor over antique and i've had honor for a while thanks for watching thumbs up let me know if you use sleek um should i go in and try the liquid foundation or anything but yeah thanks for watching my video